Meet Amber. She's a littering, gas guzzling, oblivious, and indifferent byproduct of consumer America. But she's sick of being a mindless automaton whose sole purpose is perpetuating an irrational and endless cycle of waste and destruction. She's ready to make a difference. Is six weeks enough time for Amber to make her life green? Or will she cave to social pressures like a huge loser? Find out next on Made. Oh, you better believe! I want to be a model. I want to be a pirate. I want to be me. That's me, Amber. I'm a college student going to Sonoma State University. All throughout my life, I've just kind of gone with the flow, but recently I took a liberal arts course at my school that got me thinking. The class is kind of preachy and self-righteous, but it made me think about the environment a lot. I'm hoping to get my act together in time to win the Greenest Hutchie Award and get the boy of my dreams. I really don't know if Amber has much of a shot getting the Hutchie Award. I mean, Brianna's won it like two years in a row and that's huge competition. And honestly, I've seen the way Amber is. Like she does not recycle. She uses plastic water bottles every day and I just really don't know if she has the drive to do it. Hmm, do I think Amber's gonna win the Hutchie Award? No f***ing way. I've run recycling drives. I've won the Hutchie Award two years in a row and I work hard to keep this campus clean. She's a joke. She doesn't even know what she's doing. I heard she didn't even know what recycling means. Coach, I'm Shauna. Nice to meet nice you. To meet we're you. gonna we're gonna get you eco-friendly, go okay. green. I mean, we only have six weeks. That's my new green coach, Shauna. She's possibly the greenest person on the planet. She's lived in seclusion in the forest for over ten years, but MTV convinced her to come out this once to teach me how to go green. I mean, you're gonna wear skirts like this, and you're gonna. Is there something wrong with what I'm wearing? I mean. Do you see this sweatshirt? It probably is a brand that was made in sweatshops. What are sweatshops? We'll teach you, but we have six weeks. So are you committed? Are you ready? Yeah. So I think our first mission is, you know, we're going to teach you about cycling. Cycling. So instead of throwing your water bottle like we tried to do in that black trash can, if you go up to it on the top, it's like recycling. So that's what that R word recycling. was. Recycling. Sweet. All right, Amber. Let's do it. Okay. So I met my maid coach today. She's kind of weird. She's really hippie-ish and she wears this white skirt all the time and I just don't get it. She's just going to be, she's really demanding and I don't think she realizes what my main goal is for this. So Amber, why do you want to be like eco-friendly? Well, um, in Hutchins, there's a Hutchie Award at the end of the semester for the person who's the most green, and Brie wins it every year. And I just want to win this year. Like, I'm so over watching her win. Well, and there's also another reason. There's a boy named Steven, and I just, I'm really into him, but he's into people who are, like, green and who know how to recycle. That's Steven, the boy of my dreams, but he doesn't even know I exist. Um... Amber, I'm a little bit concerned. Um, I met her and we've discussed some goals and why she wants to do it. And I'm trying to use my hippiest ways and teach them how to go green. And she just seems very focused on uh, my boys. And I don't think that should be the sole reason of these six weeks. So I'm concerned about how her progress is going to go. But uh, we'll work on it and we'll see how it goes. I think that your next homework that will help you go to win this Hudgens Award is And Steven. Win. Oh, okay. And Steven. And Steven is to read the Better World Handbook. And it's recycled paper and everything in it. It will help you focus on yourself. So you can change as an individual to make a big, bigger difference in the world. I don't understand why she wants me to read this. I just don't get it. None of it helped me. I just. I don't understand what she wants from me. She just asks too much. Like two chapters, I can't read two chapters. They talk about the end of days. There's gotta be a better way. Amber has really improved. She's been listening to the skills that I've been teaching and um, using a reusable water bottle, canvas bag. She's really turned things around and uh, 
I really think she has a good shot at it. I think I'm doing really well. I think I'm improving a lot. I mean, Mother Earth and being kind to nature and, you know, picking up leaves that aren't where they're supposed to be. And also, you know, putting your plastic bottle in the brown or the green, um, the green trash bin and putting your paper in the, the brown one and putting all your trash in the blue one. Like, I get it now. It's all making sense to me. Okay, Amber, um, I've been looking at these applications for our esteemed Hachi Award, and your name is rising up to the top. Really? In fact, you've got a, a main rival as Brianna Rayner, um, but I really noticed a change in you. Thank you. I mean, I've been just, trying to make a change. Yeah, that's excellent. I noticed you've been biking to school, etc. But um, see, all the people here, you know, well, there's Sarah Zabatsky, she's, she's a wastrel, so. I mean, she, yeah, she, she drives a car everywhere. I know, just around the block. And Robin Chase, I've seen her throw recycling bowls in the garbage. It, Who over does that? and over again. But uh, Brianna Rayner, I've got to be honest, Brianna Rayner, her name also floated in the top, so I have a couple of questions to try to see which one of you is really greener. Um, do you shave your legs? Um, no. You don't shave your legs. I well, that's, that up. that's good, but Brianna doesn't either, because mm. we all know that running the water while you're shaving without turning it off and off. Now, what about your armpits? Um, no, I don't shave those either. Well, then I think you you really have an excellent shot because I believe that Brianna does shave her armpit. Well, Amber, you know, even if you don't win this competition, I'd like to give you as a token of our appreciation and your your competitive spirit. We're all gonna die oh. by Nelson Kellogg. Thank you. Okay? Thank you so Come much. Please. Where do we go? I plan on working my phone without worrying about my bill. I plan on calling back Janet, Matumbo, and Ajay, telling my brother what I really think about his girlfriend, and tell everybody everything I've been holding back. This is gonna be fun. I was just about to... Hello? Hello? Where is everybody? Verizon Wireless, the most reliable network